this is an ultrasound study of a young boy uh, with the history of uh, pain in, in the suprotal region. What we see is that uh, this is the longitudinal section, that of the uh, left testis. Let me try and show you. This is uh, this small amount of fluid should be considered as normal. And this is the lateral margin of the left testis. This is the epididymis. This triangular area that you are seeing is, an, is the epididymis, measuring approximately. Eleven into ten mm. This is the transfer section. In one of the videos, I, in fact, in hurry, reported the repeat. Uh, sorry, the mediastinum testis as that was not mediastinum testis, and now I wish to show you how mediastinum testis appears as. This ecogenic tubulus, this tubular structure with a lumen within it, you can see, is the mediastinum testis. And it is said, if we see the mediastinum testis, it, the testis is considered to be normal. And this testis is showing us, uh, the left testis is showing us normal size, normal uh, low level, coarse, echoes, no focalium, no significant calcification seen within it. And the epididymis is now, now I am uh, shifting towards the right testis. This is the right testis, and uh, this is the lateral border. There, yeah. this is the uh, medial border. Fine. Now, to show you is. Uh, this is the now this is a cystic area. This is the middle border of the right testis. This this area that you are seeing is the epididymis. This one, this epididymic area from here to here. In this scanning plan, <coughs> this is not uh, total uh, epididymis, but this 7.1 into 7.4 mm low level uh, aquagenic area, solid area that is in front of you, is in fact, this is in fact epid epididymis. And you see there is a cystic area uh, seen that uh, communicates with the epididymis. Measures uh, approximately from this uh, dimension 7.8 into 7.5 mm. It's internally clear of any echoes or debris or septa. Nothing is seen. Small amount of fluid is blue seen. This is norm normally seen. Not a big deal. And now this area is suggestive of a spermatocene, uh, which is uh, commonly seen in this, uh, uh, in this is commonly seen, but then it is, uh, if it is a spermatocene, then it should have been superior to the testis, and uh, extra testicular and superior to the testis. This is relating to the epididymis. So this is epididymal cyst, which is the most common cyst and uh, usually seen uh, in, uh, it, it is seen in non-symptomatic uh, patients as well. So this is in fact a spermatocele or uh, epidid uh, epididymal cyst. Uh, I will go for both of them, either and uh, if either a small sperm a spermatocele or epididymal cyst. There's a difference between epididymal cyst and uh, uh, spermatic cyst. 
the phosphormatic scenes are in fact dilation of tube, uh, tubules of the efferent ducts. And uh, so now you see, let's magnify a bit and see that its wall is measures approximately uh, 0.5 mm. It's uh, internally clear of any echoes, though at times we can we may see uh, low-level echoes suggestive of sperms. Uh, however, this is the fluid. This is also fluid surrounding the cystic area in the right hemisotrotum. Now, what is this area? This is the... And now, they can, now the differentiation will also, may also include regarding this cyst. Uh, this cystic structure, the differentiation will in main include Actesia of the Riti testis, but uh, that will be mostly intratesticular. This is extratesticular and uh, is uh, consistent with the spermatic cyst. Sorry, uh, epididymal cyst. I will go for epididymal cyst. Now, this is the status of the uh, right. Now you see this is this is this area is the epididymis. This region is the epididymis. This is the right aspect. This is the wall of the sacrotum, which is normal, not thick. And from here, when I move the probe bit anteriorly, I see a core-like structure extending from the uh, paratesticular region uh, up to the. Uh, in right in vinyl region here, and this is uh, consistent with the bubble segment with fluid around. If this is, in fact, this tubular uh, structure with anechoic internal central area, a relatively anechoic central area, which is the human of the uh, bubble with internal food material that you can see the bubble wall is regular, this is a bubble wall, so this is in fact a bubble protruding within it into the, uh, from the ducting vinyl region up to the test, uh, media, media, uh, later margin of the right test. Is this black area is uh, suggestive of fluid around this. Now this is the fluid in the uh, right hemisocrotum. There is another small cyst. This is a typical spermatocele. Dilation of different ductules seen with with epididymis and uh, measuring only uh, three millimeter into three mm. And uh, this these are very common normal finding in asymptomatic patients. And this is in fact spermatocele not an epididymal cyst, not a spermatocele. So these are findings we do come across. This is epididymis and this is the testis. This is the fluid within this, uh, uh, within the right hemisocrotum. From here, a uh, tubular structure representing a bowel segment is seen uh, extending <coughs> up to the right uh, inguinal region. Otherwise, you see the capsule of the chest is appearing very clear and bright here, yeah, this area. Right chest is clear of any calcifications, any focal lien in this uh, kidney muscle. 16. Huh? 16. 16 years old young. So this is our, now you see, now, this is a good view to uh, to show you the, uh, the relation of the cystic area with the epididymis. This is the epididymis, this is the cystic area, 
either a spermatocele or a cyst. This is the right testis, small amount of fluid within it. This is the wall of the testis. Let's uh, try to apply some uh, color and see that uh, if this is the area and the study. Cystic area does it get color? Or is there any vascular? No, no color is seen. And the color means, in fact, uh, that no vessels are seen in this region, nor in its wall, nor this fluid. Uh, this fluid is clear of any uh, blood flow. So, uh, regarding the tubular structure that we were seeing extending from the testes up to the uh, writing vinyl region, let's see. You will not, you will, and we are not seeing any flow in these. Had these been very seals, we would have been seeing flow within it. Being, you can see its relation with the uh, testes. This fluid is also a was This this fluid is also a was Okay. media is fantastic. This, this, this is the instruction. So this is our case of the day. Thank you very much.